Hi, and welcome to this FNAF Coffee Break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at FNAF, and I will be your presenter today. As this Coffee Break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the Coffee Break. Today, we're going to look at getting data from related Business Central tables without writing code. To demonstrate how to do this, we will use a sales template from the FNAF report pack. I will add information from the item table to this report. However, you can add related tables to any FNAF report from any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate how to add related tables to a FNAF report, I'm going to use these steps. The prerequisites, what do I need to get going? We'll have a look at the related tables. Then we'll add a related table and finally, we will add data from the related table on the layout of the report. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be adding related tables to a FNAF report in a Business Central Cloud environment with the Business Central 2020 Wave Run release. I have installed the FNAF extension and I have executed a step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available on Business Central on-prem, Please ensure you are using FNAF version 5.2 or above. I have also installed the FNAF Designer on my PC. The FNAF Designer can be downloaded from the FNAF website. I can add all my changes straight in the FNAF layout. Modifying the extension is not needed. All I need to do is run the report from uh, the FNAF setup and select Design, and this will open the FNAF Designer. So in Business Central, I'm going to have a look at the FNAF setup, which is where you can set up specific things for the FNAF report pack. And right here, we have the option to design the sales template. And once I click this, FNAF will open the FNAF designer. In the FNAF designer, uh, we will notice that in the report, we have a couple of uh, tables that the report is connected to. Uh, namely the header and the line. There's some other ones as well, but the header and the line are the main data items where FNAF gets the data out of Business Central. But when I look in my data set, you will notice that I also have different tables. I have the company information table and the FNAF setup, uh, but they are not in the main data set of my report. So where does FNAF get that data? If I go to the properties of the report itself, if I scroll down a little bit, you will notice that I have a property called, called records. And if I drill down into this, I get into, into the records collection editor, uh, where we can add tables from Business Central. And for now, we'll add those as uh, global variables to your report. So you can load information into these variables and display them on the reports. So right here, we have the company information. We have the FNAF setup and some FNAF legal uh, tables and, uh, and captions. So once I add something in here, then the tables will be available in the field list of the report, like you can see up here. Now, this isn't all we have to do. Uh, the next thing we need to do is actually get the data out of those tables. And for that, uh, for, the, for these fairly simple uh, setup tables, we have the OMPRI report. And in the OMPRI report, we can script company information, .get, .get, et etc. But what if I want to get a table uh, that has a table relation? For instance, uh, the item for the, uh, for the sales line. So let's go and have, uh, let's go and add a related table to my, uh, to my data set and see how I can do it without any scripting and without any messing about with complicated things. So let's go back to into the records collection and drill down into it and we are going to add a new record. Choose a table. And when I drill down into this, I can select any table that is currently installed in, uh, in my business central tenant. And this can be any table from the base, um, from the base app or any table from any extension that is currently installed in, uh, in business central. So I click this and this will add the item table to my records collection. And right now I could start messing about with scripts, but that's a lot of work. 
and I would prefer to set it up uh, without writing code. So I can add my data item reference. So the reference table that I want to link to my item table and I can create the link. So this will say I want to link the item number to the sales line number, which means if the sales line number is an item, then it will automatically get that particular item from the database and click OK. There's some more things I can set up. I can set up some filtering here as well. So I, uh, I might want to add a filter on, for instance, the, uh, the item type where I can say I only want inventory items, for instance. Don't want any filters today. Last but not least, I can add calculated fields. Uh, calculated fields are fields that are not in the, that don't have any data in the tables, but they are calculated every time a record is is uh, is opened. Uh, for performance reasons, we don't automatically calculate everything, but you can add any calculated field to uh, to your record, and for now, we'll calculate the content of that field so you can display it on your report. I'm happy with this. So I hit OK and we'll keep going. Now, once I have added the item table, I can add data from the item to my layout. I could add the data to the sections that are already, that are already there. In this case, I want to create a new body section, so I only have to show my item data for item lines. So back to Fornav. What I want to do now is create a new space where I can uh, where I can show my item information. So I right click my line and I say insert a body section. And this will give me a nice bit of blank canvas to add some stuff on. So let's navigate to my field list, open the, the line and let's start adding some stuff. For instance, the net weight, that's a nice one. Drag it into my report. So the net weight is a, is a field that's on the item table itself. But as we've discussed in other coffee breaks, Pornav will also allow me to use field lookups. Field lookups are uh, fields from related tables, so related to the item itself, uh, but not actually on the item table. So right now I could add, for instance, the item, where is it? At the I, I think. I should select the right line. So let's get the item category description. And let's get my base unit of measure description as well. Add those and let's line them up properly. But that will use the for enough alignment tools so everything lines up nicely. So these are the fields themselves. Now I would, I would like to add some captions as well for the item category caption. I can grab the item category caption from, from the field lookups and for the other fields for the base unit of measure, I can use the item capture, item ca I can use the caption from the item table and the same for net weight. So that's there. Let's go and give them a bit of a different color so everything is, we can see what we've added. So that's creating a new section and uh, displaying my data on it. Now I only want to display this section when I have an item line on my invoice. To do that, I go to the properties of my new section and I delete the true that is there. And I want to check if my line type is the option line type dot item. So once I do this, this returns true once the line type is the line type item. And when it is true, then the section is displayed. We have done a another coffee break video on, uh, for instance, showing output. I hardly recommend you to uh, to check that one out. For now, I'm happy with this. I want to go and preview my report.
So let's select a an invoice that I have created specially for this. And let's preview this. Once the report is rendered and I zoom in a little bit, you will notice that I have a report with four lines. I have two item lines, I have a comment line, and I have a general ledger line. And on the item lines, Business Central gets my uh, base unit of measure, which is piece, the item category, the net weight, which is 34.6, and for the second one, it gets the uh, the item category office chair and the net weight 8.3. So let's recap what we just did. In our sandbox environment of Business Central, we have modified the FNAF layout. We have added a related table to the report and set the data item link properties. We have added a body section to our report so we can display data from, a new, from the new related table. Thank you for listening to me so far. Mark, do we have any questions? Not right now, but we're going to give the audience a moment to think about it and type some questions. And while we wait for that, let's go to the next slide. So if you want to know more, uh, first and foremost, you can go to our website, fornav.com. And here you can also find a download section. On the download section, you can download the designer that René used today to, uh, to modify the report. Um, if you want to get started with the product, we highly recommend downloading the report pack from Microsoft App Source. Uh, this will give you all the reports to get started, which are optimized for, um, for working with 4NAV. And if you want to see other coffee breaks or our regular webinars, you can go to YouTube on youtube.com slash 4NAV reports. You can find all of the coffee breaks nicely grouped together. And after this, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us on support at fornav.com and we will get back to you uh, normally within 24 hours. So more coffee breaks, you can find them on our uh, website fornav.com slash coffee break. Here we will keep a list of live uh, coffee breaks that we will do in the next uh, couple of weeks. Um, if you cannot find um, a coffee break that answers your question and um, it's not listed on the website as a future coffee break either, please send us an email, um, info at fornav.com. We will evaluate your suggestion and if we think it's worth doing a coffee, coffee break about, uh, you will win uh, two prizes. Uh, the first prize you'll win is the fact that you'll get your question answered in a coffee break, uh, especially for you. And the second prize is a gift certificate uh, as a thank you worth uh, 50 euros or, or dollar. Uh, so, René, you must be very clear today because we don't have any um, questions. So let's wrap up. Uh, thanks for presenting today. Stay healthy and see you in the next coffee break.